These are Christians who are masquerading around Christianity, but they don't want to die. They don't want to die to their ambitions. They don't want to die to immorality. You have not gone to Golgotha to put your appetites on the line. And I can preach like this because I've walked that road. I'm a brand plucked out of the fire. I've walked that road. I came to a point in my life that I said, I will rather die than fornicate. If you have never fornicated in your life before, you don't know that pressure. You are still a virgin. You don't know that pressure. But some of us had crossed the Rubicon. We had crossed the line. We had slept with anything in skirt, any color, any shape. We had done all kinds of things. And then one day, God began to speak to us about destiny. This flesh continued to cry out. But we made up our minds that we would rather die. At first, it was a struggle. That's why the Bible says, do not be weary in well-doing. Have you read that scripture before? Don't be weary in well-doing. You keep doing the right thing. You keep doing the right thing. Sometimes as you are doing the right thing, you will make a mistake. Get up and do the right thing. Keep doing the right thing. He says, if you do not faint in due time, it's a law in the spirit. One day you will wake up and find out you can't look at pornography again. You will wake up and find out that things that are stolen, you don't have appetite for it. The problem with you is that you try the right thing for one week. Then when you are tired, you say you go back to the wrong thing. Even the realm of the spirit is confused. We don't know who you are. Are you a friend of Jesus or an enemy of the cross? We keep doing it. Prayer is hard, it's hard, but we get up in the night with our eyes heavy with sleep. And we do even when prayer is not sweet. There are days you wake up, you don't feel like praying. You get up, you are broke like a brokeaholic. The pain in your waist is still there. The fibroid is still there. The lack is still there. Your children are not eating. You wake up and Satan is saying, have you not prayed? Are you not tired? You look up to heaven and say, oh God, my God, how wonderful you are in all the earth. It may look like you are sounding foolish. Sometimes what is coming out of your mouth no longer makes sense. You are not making sense to yourself, but you keep doing the right thing. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. He said, if you call upon me, I will answer. If he doesn't answer on Monday, I will try on Tuesday. If he doesn't answer on Tuesday, I will try on Friday. If he doesn't answer in three months, I will try in April. But no month will find me not trying. Because I have come to Golgotha. I have died to opportunities. I have died to options. If God does not help me, I have nowhere else to go.